Hello, this video is just to explain the difference between elastic and inelastic deformation. I've got a spring suspended on a clamp stand here. If I put a force on the spring, the weight of this mass, uh, the spring extends. If I add more masses to the spring, it will extend more. Okay. Now, if I take those masses off, you can see that the spring goes back to its original length. That is elastic deformation. And this spring can take at least 600 grams, so about six newtons of weight, um, before it, it will uh, stop deforming elastically. So we, if I put 600 grams on, take 600 grams off, it still returns to its normal, um, normal length. And that's what we want when we're doing experiments. We don't want them to deform inelastically. Now, with the spring now, what I've done is I've put a lot more uh, weight on it. I've put one point, I think it's 1.2 kilograms on. So we're going to have a look and see what happens when I remove 1.2 kilograms off this spring. Can you see that the spring's no longer returning to its original length? I've got another identical spring here. You can see that was its original length. This has been overstretched. It's gone past its elastic limit. It plastically deformed. Okay, so this spring we can't use now for experiments because it's gone past its elastic limit and um, won't go back to its original shape. If I put even more force on it, if I just really, really add some force to this spring, I can deform it even more. So I can end up with a spring permanently deformed absolutely no use okay so we need to when we're adding weight to springs make sure that we're going less than the elastic limit or else they will be inelastically deformed